Musketeers, Aubrey here with Magical Adventures, and today we are going to be doing another Cooking in the Kitchen with HMA recipe, and my niece Joey is here with me to Hi, help Joey. me out with this recipe. It's going to be a Mickey-shaped funnel cake. cake. So we're going to try to attempt that and uh, see how that works. Everything is ready. It's already uh, prepped, so just make sure when you guys are cooking your funnel cake, you want to have your oil um, ready and prepared, and um, on medium, medium heat. Five. Don't put it all the way up to um, high because you don't want to make your oil too hot. So the recipe for this ingredient is something that I did get from Big Lots. They actually had the funnel cake kit at Big Lots. No, I am not doing this from scratch. Hmm. Yeah, no. I'm not doing this from scratch. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it from scratch, but I would rather not. So I just got the cheat uh, recipe because it's already prepared in the powder and everything. So you can get this at Big Lots, at your nearest Big Lots. See if they have it, because I think they do have it, but it looks just like this. So this one comes in a blue and some of them are yellow. I don't know, it's been a long time since I've actually got the one in the kit. So what it asks for, the ingredients that I read off the box, it asks for two and one fourth cups of water. And then you have your uh, powdered mix for the funnel cake right here, the batter right here. And then you're going to just go ahead and take this batter and pour it inside of your uh, bowl. you got to have a bowl right here. So I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to pour the whole thing, the whole batter inside of here. Inside there. Throw this in the garbage. And then I'm going to take my water. And then we're going to go ahead and pour the water inside of the batter. And it says to ask for a whisk. You need to use a whisk to mix the batter of the funnel cake. So Joy's going to go ahead and whisk it until it is like a thickness and smooth. So it has to be thick and smooth consistency when you guys are making the batter. It's almost like the what? Pancake batter, like, right? Yeah, it's almost kind of like pancake batter. But yeah, just make sure when you mix it, it has to be very thick. And creamy. Yeah. So. While she's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and move this stuff to the side. <clears throat> you want to make sure you have enough space, enough room, so during your cooking. So our fire is already on. The oil is still heated up. I kind of had the oil um, preheated, so it's actually ready to go once we get the batter mixture uh, ready. So we're going to try to attempt to do a Mickey-shaped funnel cake so let's hope and pray that this works and if it doesn't work it's okay trial and error so we're going to try that so i'm going to try to attempt i asked joey if she would want to do it and she said i've never made funnel cake before <laughs> i think she i think it's only the one that's the easiest for us like the round one but attempting yeah. to do a mickey face shaped one is pretty um tricky tricky so i'm going to try to attempt that um process I think our batter is nice and done. Okay. Okay. There you go. Now let's see. Make sure. We, oh yeah. And this is like a thicker consistency. That's what you want. Thick, thick, thick consistency. That, that looks like a lot of water. Yeah. Two and one fourth cups. Well, that's what it said. Two and one fourth cups for the water. So. You don't want it to be too thick at the same time. And yeah, it'll be too odd. Uh, yeah, you don't want to. Um, make it uh, too watery either if you got to follow the recipe on the box yes. whatever the recipe says just go ahead and follow what's on the box don't try to make your own judgment because it's going to come out wrong and you're going to be mad exactly <laughs> all right so that's all done what we're going to try to do is uh, yep it should work we're going to go ahead and pour this this is the uh funnel cake um pouring spout yeah. that you're going to pour it in we're going to go ahead and drip drip Pour this in here like so. And it goes. Oh, that's perfect. The buzz would be like messy. But okay, this is the nervous part. <laughs> okay, let me get a the big towel. Yeah, this is the nervous part trying to make the uh, batter. I mean, not, not make the batter, trying to pour it and do it for the very first time. It's been a long time since I made the funnel cake out of this uh, recipe. Cause I've done this, oh my gosh, a long time ago when I was younger, I've done this uh, ingredient. So Joey is going to take the funnel cake when it when it um, fries. It's going to, what's gonna happen is when you 
pour it inside. Oh, you know what? Let's get a paper towel. When you pour the batter inside of the hot um, grease oil, and yes, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention you need oil uh, in here. Uh, duh. Vegetable oil <laughs> or uh, like vegetable? It doesn't matter kind of oil. It doesn't matter what type of oil you use as long as it's uh, oil. Uh, I guess veg. What am I using? Canola. I, I have canola oil. That's what I'm using. Canola oil because they say it's healthier. Canola oil. It doesn't matter vegetable oil as long as it's oil. I don't know what kind of oil they use at Disneyland. I really don't know. I know they use oil. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to do this recipe. This uh, I keep saying this recipe. I'm gonna attempt to pour this inside of the oil, and I'm gonna pour the Mickey shape circle on one, and then of course I'm gonna make the ears. What it's going to do is it's going to boil up and it's going to puff. You're going to see a puff consistency. So it's going to puff up. It's kind of scared and nervous, so here we go. <laughs> Wish me luck on this. Yeah, if it messes up, it's okay. Trial and error. Yeah. Oh. It's not going to come out perfect. We can show you oh that. Gosh. Okay, I'm going to make a circle. Circle, every circle, every circle. And then ears. Don't know if that's going to work. Another ear. I don't know if that's going to work. Okay. Oh, I think I did it. Ooh. It looks like I did it, sort of. Oh, that looks good. Hold on. It's popping. Okay, guys. Ooh, look at that. Okay, we will show. Let's kind of shake it around a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Oh, dang. That's it. Are you going to turn it over? I'm asking my career to turn this thing over. Can we turn it over? Awesome. Can the other side? Oh, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Nicely. I understand that, but we have to flip it over yeah, somehow. Like it's <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. Oh, almost there. Almost there. Uh, there we go. All right. So just remember, you guys, to make sure you flip your batter over. Yes. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and remove it from the skillet before it starts to burn. Right. Okay. You're gonna have to move it close. I'll hold it, baby. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Ready. Whoa. Now let's get the powdered sugar. Right. Powdered sugar because they said to add the powdered sugar on here once it comes off the burner. Shake, shake, shake the powdered sugar on there. Boop, 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 boop. Yes. Now I'm oh gonna go ahead gosh. and show you guys my uh, finished create our finished creation. <laughs> All right, it ain't the best Mickey shaped um, funnel cake, but, but I tried. <laughs> I put the circle there and then the circle there and then the circle here, and I tried so. Hey, it's better than nothing, right? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead so and um, cool. add the powdered sugar we did already, right. and we're gonna go ahead and Sh add strawberry. Would be best. Oh, whoops! Which one? Strawberry before? I mean, you I didn't just put whipped cream or? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll put whipped cream. Yeah, we'll put strawberry too. We can put. We're gonna put the um, toppings, you guys. We add the powdered sugar. We're gonna add the strawberries. Um, my strawberry. Let me use. We're gonna add the strawberries right now. And strawberries. Then a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that. And right. then, not too much, just a little. Yeah, just like a small one. Yeah. And you're gonna put that right there on top. And you're gonna take. All right, let's add some chocolate syrup too. Yeah. Ah. Actually, we'll make another batter. Is there another? Yeah, there's enough space for the batter because. This is the one that I wanted. I wanted this one because I didn't really want too much of the other stuff. So come on over here, Joey, so What's we can that? actually present this together. All right, and then here it is. You guys are Mickey. This is coming down a little bit. That's okay. This is our Mickey shaped funnel cake and it's dripping off of the thing because it's so hot and that's okay. Oh, it's so yummy. It looks so good. So we're going to go ahead and give it a shot and try and see how this tastes. All right, you guys, the big reveal. Okay, let me give you a clean up. It, it looks good. It looks like we did an actually good job. So, oh. okay, let me go ahead and take this out. This is a. Oh, wait, that's for you. Yes, I know how to grab the spoon. Really, Aubrey? Okay, and then we have the funnel cake. Yes. It's actually melting off, and that's cool. That's yeah. alright. Okay. Uh, do I give you a name? Oh, no, you just gave me a fork. I'll just share one. Yeah. Okay, oh my gosh. It and you know what? It's good. been a long time since I've had funnel cake at the theme parks, but when I go back to Orlando, Florida at, at uh, Disneyland, I mean Disney World, my bad, I am going to try the funnel cake. But the reason why I didn't get the funnel cake is because they added so much stuff. 
stuff on it, and I was like, oh my god, am I gonna be able to finish that by myself? Yeah. And they're so, pretty big too. And they're, like, they're pretty huge. big. She's gone to Six Flags Magic Mountain, and you said yes. you got some of the funnel cake over there. They have really good funnel. And you cake. have to share it with a, a, somebody. With somebody, yes. Yeah, you can't eat it by yourself. So let me go ahead and see how this came out. And you're gonna cut your dessert. Yeah. Yeah. She's gonna cut hers. Mind you, please don't just throw it in your mouth. It's gonna be very hot. So make sure you blow it, especially since it's fresh off the stove. This is good. This mm -hmm. is good. Oh, okay. It could have sat a little bit longer, but it's really good. I think it's perfect. No, it's sure? fine. Because I, okay, I like so, that crispy. <laughs> okay. This is a really good funnel cake, but you know what this reminds me of? What? Waffles. It yes. tastes just like waffle. Mm -hmm. It tastes just like um, waffles that you would eat. The Eggo waffle. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what this kind of tastes like. So, um, yeah, there it is. Our Mickey Shape Funnel Cake. It was it's really good. You guys should even try it at home. And the, uh, the, uh, the box, I got it from Big Lots. The recipe box, I got it from Big Lots. I only paid like six bucks, six dollars and fifty cent for it. Yeah. I paid six fifty for it. But yeah, very good. Well, thank you so much for tuning into this channel and watching my video on how to make a Mickey shaped funnel cake. This has been a very enjoyable um, time on cooking this funnel cake. I had so much fun, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for able for being able to watch my channel. And I hope you guys like this one that we have did on the Mickey shaped funnel cake and how to make your own at home. Um, all right, so I also want to thank all the um, doctors, the nurses, yes. well, first responders, mm -hmm. everyone that's out there, essential workers, people that are working in grocery stores, door and dashers, mm -hmm. anyone that's the teachers, working right educators. now. teachers, educators, and it seems like everything is going back on track a little bit slowly. All Very the phases slow. are going back on track, and I'm so happy that all the phases are coming, like everything's going back to normal, semi back to normal, but this is something we probably needed, you it's, know, yeah. that something that we really needed to... Um, open our eyes and wake up and remind us and to remind us what is really truth about the world mm -hmm. and what we need to do next time so it's a blessing that we're you know we're still able to do what we do and um for those who did not make it during this pandemic and during this tragic um time i just want to give out my prayers to all of the families who lost um, a family member or a friend, we are so sorry, and um, we give our condolences to those who did not make it um, during this pandemic. But for those who are out there, all these shops, all these stores, all these major restaurants, and all these food chains, and malls, and theme parks, mm -hmm. please follow the guidelines, follow the rules that all the cast members, staff, employees are asking you to do. Please don't ignore them. Wear your facial mask if they say wear your facial mask, especially if you're at restaurants, mm -hmm. malls, or theme parks, especially all these big places where there's a crowd of people. Yes. Please listen to them because this pan this uh, coronavirus is not over. Yes. It's still happening. People are still getting sick. Protect yourself. Wash your hands periodically, 20 seconds. Wash your hands every day. If that's what it takes to kill this virus, that's what it's going to take. But please protect yourself. Be safe. Be sanitary. Be sanitary. And take care of yourself out there. And make sure you protect yourself and protect others around you. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. And have a blessful one. And hope to see you guys in the next video segment when I shoot my next video. Happy ventures, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>